Hello, good day. Once again, this is Arvid Alonso demonstrating to you basics of IT application tools. In this video presentation, I would like to demonstrate how to convert the status of your students from current, from not current, to active. What happens if the students enrolled became not current in their status? The problem actually was when the setting of the self-enrollment key was done. Perhaps you were able to set the enrollment duration into a number of few days. Say for example, in this situation, we have six days and you even set the start date and the end date. So if you notice, there are only six days for the enrollment. So, what will be our solution to this? The first solution that we can do is to change this one into another date. And that is, for example, we set it to January 20, 2022. And then, we go to Save Changes. After that, you click the participants on the left pane and then scroll down and select all 42 users here. Notice that all the users now are selected and also on the last column, you notice that there are only two active students and all the others are not current. So with the selected users here at the bottom, what are we going to do? Choose Edit Selected User Enrollments. And then Alter Status to Active. And then Perhaps you can enable this one and change the alter end time again to January 20, 2022. Save changes. So if you scroll down, notice that all your all the not current users or students are now active. Or simply we select all 68 users without going to the enrollment key settings and then choose edit selected enrollment users. You just need to make alter status into active and then just have the alter end time from, for example, 20 of January. 2022. This will be the end of the entire course. Click Save Changes. Now you have all the students active or the users active. So thank you. God bless everyone. I hope you learned something new in this video presentation.